When Power Stones were introduced in Dominaria United on Karn Living Legacy, they were dismissed as a do-nothing game object. But now we have the Brothers War, and a fistful of new artifacts to cast with them. Today's deck is looking to stretch those Power Stones as much as we can. We're basically like the Magnets guy, just with uh, Power Stones instead. You get it. But before we go over the top with Power Stones, please take a second to help out the channel and like and subscribe so you can see this sweet, sweet content every week. I got to play during the Brothers War Early Access event last week, so the deck at the start isn't the same as the deck at the end. You know, learn as we go and all that stuff. But without further ado, I am Justin Parnell, and these are my top five favorite games I played with Power Stone Ramp. Okay, so. So our first deck for Brothers War is a deck where we are trying to leverage the card over the top. So over the top is a seven mana sorcery. It says each player reveals a number of cards from the top of their library equal to the number of non-land permanents they control. Notably, doesn't say non-token. Non-land permanents they control. Put all permanent cards they reveal this way onto the battlefield. Put the rest into their graveyard. So this does get both players. So obviously we want to be careful with how we are, are doing such things. Um, but we have a lot of ways to leverage putting a lot of permanents on the battlefield with power stones. Okay, so we have a lot of cards here that are putting power stones onto the battlefield, including this Sarinth Great Worm, which whenever any land enters the battlefield, you make a power stone. So the, obviously the payoffs are the Cityscape Leveler, which, uh, you know, is a gigantic 8-8 trampler, destroys stuff when it attacks the Great Worm. And then we have a couple of Karns, because if we are able to get the Karn Emblem, you get uh, tap and untap artifact you control, deal one damage to any target. And then we also have one copy of Mechanized Warfare. If a red or artifact source deals damage to an opponent or a permanent, they deal that much plus one. So... If we're able to, if we're able to get uh, the emblem plus mechanized warfare, we can start just pinging our opponent all the way to death. And then, of course, we have uh, Dragon Spark Reactor. In the event we get a big over the top, we have a ton of little artifacts come into play, and then we can sacrifice the Dragon Spark Reactor to deal a ton of damage all at one time to our opponent. And in the, in the meantime, we also have this Hall of Taskin, which makes Power Stones, and we have Mishra's Foundry, which we can use our Power Stones to activate to turn into a creature. So, a lot of lands in this deck, but uh, yeah, we're going to give it a go. All right. Can we Power Stone out our opponent? That is the goal here. Okay. Off to the nice start. We have some of our early Power Stone Makers. We don't generally care if we give our opponents Power Stones. Because, well... If they can't use them, then they're, they're, they can be useless. If they don't have artifacts. Now, I imagine a bunch of people are going to have artifacts. So, they probably won't be useless, but... We're going to keep ours. That's a, that's a sweet card back right there. We got Lightning Bolt, though. Okay. Target player mills two cards. They're going to mill themselves. Looks like we got a little Jund. Probably a Jund self-mill action. All right, and we'll play this Dragon Spark Reactor. When it dies, so we can kill this if we want, or we can make a power stone. Oh, they're going for, uh, I think they're going to be going for, like, uh, Mishra. Let's 
And let's make a power stone. We're going to be making power stones. That is our goal here. Are they going with multi-meld? I see they have Argoth. That's got double strike. Okay. Yeah, we'll block here. That's fine. We can we can trade this. That's not a big deal. Okay. Then they mill and they can put a card back and then they're going to get the Mistra. Okay. All right, so we are going to play this Thran Spider. And we're going to hold up this uh, Volt Volt Surge, Voltage Surge. Because they're going to cast, they're going to potentially cast this uh, Mishra. And we need to kill it. We need to kill the uh, other thing. They mill three, put a creature back into your hand if you don't get a counter. Okay, that's pretty cool. And they got another Mishra. Okay, that's solid. So, I so at end of turn, if we don't do anything, we can make a Power Stone. We can't quite do this. Yeah, this 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 audio is is going absolute ham. Okay. Did that even do anything? It's still really loud. Okay. No text. So we can still do this and uh, voltage surge if we need to. Just want to make sure they can't melt. When it dies, mill four. Okay. Yep. Power stone it up. We could kill this. Maybe we do and just hold this to... Uh, I think we I think we just wait and I think we just I think we just block. Now we could make a gigantic 88. That seems pretty good is making a big big 88. Like that's that's not bad. And we could kill their dragon engine. All right, let's do it. They can make another power stone. This uh, this dragon spark reactor is kind of getting, <laughs> kind of getting pretty big, kind of getting pretty big. It's already at six. It's already at six from all these power stones. And what are, are we gonna make? You're gonna make a power stone. Okay, it's going to get plus one, plus one in haste. Sure. Deal. Okay, deal one to any target. Okay. Our face. Got it. Oh, boy. So we can kill a thing. I guess we just kill this thing. You can mill four cards. That's fine. This thing's got trample. They are like almost they're almost dead. <laughs> they're at they're at nine. This has six on it. Alright. Okay. Make a power stone, sure. Well, they are making power stones. I mean, like, I guess they can uh they could do something. I don't know. I think they're just... I They're literally just toast. And let's go ahead and kill this. And let's go ahead and kill this. 
Uh, no, we're not going to sacrifice an artifact. And then we're going to attack. We're going to destroy their creature. If that wasn't enough, we're going to make more power stones. And then we could blow it up with the Dragon Spark Reactor. Uh, pretty good. That was a good start. That was a good start. Well, well, well. If it isn't Tomer. Right off the bat. Well, we have three lands. We have a Dragon Spark Reactor. We have an Arbalist Engineer. We're going to keep this. Uh... We'll give Tomra a hello. Lure him into a false sense of security. So he thinks that we're going to be kind. Where that will not be the case. Okay. Alright, so we got some soldiers, huh? Alright. Well, hopefully we can kill one of the soldiers. All right. Let's go ahead and kill a soldier. Uh, we we do generally want to be making power stones, but not this time. We need to live. We in the business of living. Yep, we're going to take two. I love this card. Sky Strike Officer, super sweet. And we will pass the turn for now. Next time we can play this and make a Power Stone. Although, I'd like to draw a green. We might have to blow this up, too. I mean, it just deals one, but... If they play, if there's like a lord coming, it's pretty good, pretty good. Tapping this to draw three. So we can make, uh, okay. Other creatures get plus one. Yeah, I think we just need to live. Okay. Not, not very fancy. We we are not we are not going to be living. We are not doing much living here. We are dead. We're like actually dead. Let's see: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think we're dead. I think we're dead to these soldiers already. Yep. This doesn't have reach or anything. Alright, we're dead. We're dead. Not off to as good of a start as we were last time. Is this the only green card left on our deck? If it is, we might we might cut it for something else. I think it might be. I think we might have slowly cut all the green cards. But it sure is going to be good here. Okay, when this dies, make a power stone. Okay, so you get to consider again. And before they can, like, blink this, I'm just going to kill it. I don't want to be messing around with any of that blink shenanigans. With these prototypes. Uh, 
All right. There's Urza. These power stones are only going to help them. Because if they have the, mic st the might stone and weak stone, not on their next turn, but on their next turn, then they can going to easily be able to turn it into Urza Planeswalker. Which is... Looks like pretty bad news. I'm not going to lie. Uh-oh. I, I assume you're going to draw two cards. You can kill this spider. Okay, sure. That's fine. Okay. Bad news. Bad news for us. Alright, what does this do? Make two soldiers. You can exile a permanent. Artifacts and planeswalkers get an instructor to turn and destroy all non land permanents. Which Urza can do like a second after entering the battlefield. So. All right, this is bad news. Bad, 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 bad news. Some of the worst news. We might need to go back to the, the four. Okay. Even though this melded, I think, uh, and I know this is an arena, this should be just a gigantic card. Like, this should be the size of two cards. It's ridiculous that it's not. Absolutely ridiculous. Okay. Artifacts, instant sorcery. Cost two less this turn. All right. Ramp up production immediately, huh? Okay. Well, we're going to try to fight Urza a little bit. Yeah, it's how yeah, exactly. It's it, it it is half the reason you play meld cards. If they just turned into a regular sized card, no one would care. It's a giant card. The fact that it's like what cards do I have? I have Blood Artist and Shock from Stronghold. Uh yeah, but if it was like, meld them together, look, here it is, one card. No one would care. But the fact that it's like a giganto card, that's why people are doing it. Alright. We'll play the we'll play the Fight Urza minigame. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. If you draw a land, we can play this, which is pretty sweet. They don't have any creatures. So this is not very good. Oh, yeah, I definitely could have. I could have killed it with this. But, but, what I want to do is cast this portal into Phyrexia. Just resolve. Come on. Come on. And then I want to cast these for like a million. I want to keep casting them. No! Okay. 
All right. Uh, probably should have attacked. Probably should have attacked with this. Because now I have to draw another land next turn. Jaybro! What up, what up? Thank you for two months. Fetch me more power stones. Dog, there's two of them. There's just two. Hey, oh, Zulua! Thank you, thank you, thank you for your subscription. I definitely should have attacked with this last turn. I guess we're going to be prototyping. <coughs> All right. Let's, let's go. Time to attack. Since we gave up the ability out of greed. Fading hope. That's not nice. Okay, okay. Alright. Urza, not going down quite yet. Thank you for the entertainment. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Always appreciate it when people enjoy the content. Okay. Both of us have one card. I'm sure, I'm sure Mr. Urza can draw like six cards, draw two, then discard one, and you could do that twice. That's pretty good. That's some, that is some BS. I am Ursa Planeswalker. All right. I like how Urza is so arrogant. He's just like, yes, Planeswalker will be my last name. Because I am Urza Planeswalker. Every other planeswalker will just not be. They, I'm planeswalker. I'm Urza planeswalker. What's your name, Liliana Vest? Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm Urza planeswalker. By the way, you idiot. Let it happen. Okay. Right on. <coughs> Interesting. Oh, we have another Urza? Don't have another Urza. Dr. Planeswalker. Dr. Mr. Planeswalker. Yeah, draw two. That's that's what I thought. You can't just be out here just like casting five mana artifacts and then using them as a kill spell on my two power creatures. Opponent's at 28. 
Jemus. The Honorable Judge Dr. Mr. Planeswalker. <laughs> yeah. Fading Hope. Okay. That's a good card. I did not realize this thing had haste. Like, I knew it had trample. I did not know it had haste. Are you going to counter this? I'm going to cycle Rafine's Tower. That's adorable. Okay, so there's one Urza in here. There's one Urza in here. So they only have two more to make another uh, the Honorable Judge Dr. Mr. Planeswalker. Okay. And draw some more cards. Maybe you're going to kill Thran Spider. Who knows? Nope. Drawn cards. That's, I believe, what I would do, too. Not Urza. They're looking for Urza. Okay. Arcane Proxy. Full value. What do we got? What do we have in here? Just a stern lesson? Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's not bad. Making more power stones, that's for sure. Yeah, we will discard this and draw. Okay. Let's see. So I could minus... And pay four. I think I just want to attack and then just see what they do. Let's just see what happens. Block the Thran Spider? Okay. I think I just want to make more power stones. Then I can make a power stone at the end of turn. I turned this treasure into a power stone, but I think that's fine. I think I'm happy to do that. I don't think we can deck them out. They're at 23 cards. That is not that is not enough. They're, they're still wanting to draw cards, so... Uh, presumably, they're going to find another Urza. Fateful Absence. We'll make another Power Stone. Yeah, I'm not into the I'm not into the Deccan necessarily. All right, let's draw. Okay. That's interesting. Don't think we want to attack this time. If you cast it, huh? Disappointing. All right. More power stones. Oh, that's good. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna save this for Urza though. Hmm. 
Let's see. Could have potentially attacked with everything, but then they would just kill this. So, we will, we will not. All right. They're just waiting. Maybe they're waiting for a way to protect Urza. I just feel like there's only 20 cards left. That's a good one. I mean, we'll try to cast it. Sure. I doubt it's going to resolve. It did not resolve. It did not resolve. Fading hope. I've been tricked. I've been tricked. Now I can't make a power stone? That's messed up. Arcane Proxy. Okay, what do you have? I, I don't know. What? Fateful Absence, maybe? It draws me a card. Might actually be better than this reflection of Kiki Jiki. Nope. Just consider, huh? Either consider. That's really it. I think we might be brothers, brothers, brotherhood ending. I think that's what's going to happen here. I like that. We'll try this first. Just let it happen. Just let it happen. Negate. There's not letting it happen. Take two. Okay. All right. They didn't have a counter spell, so if we draw another thing, that's two gate to Phyrexias. Okay. Well, we have a Mitra's Foundry. Already going to end step. Okay. Make power stone. Would have liked to have, have, if I drew another land, at least have drawn another hall. We'll just attack. Meager beats. Nothing again? They really need to draw this this uh, Urza, huh? Alright, let's I mean let's let's get in. I just want to make power stones. More power stones. No, why did you tap? Why did this tap? Oh, that was annoying. Why'd you why did this tap? <sighs> you left it up every other turn. All right, 
tap, tap. I know. Auto Tapper hates you. Not you in particular, but just like the general you. Just like people. Like it just hates people. Alright. Thran Spider. More power. We'll activate that at end of turn. Let's see. Uh, should be able to do both. We gotta tr turn in this treasure, but that's okay. It's got six in hand. Depopulate. I get to draw a card. That's nice. Wifaruski. All right. Kiki Jiki. Urza Silex? Come on. Get get real on this. I've worked so hard for these power stones. You're just gonna take them away from me. Fading hope? Sure. All right, so they do it on their turn. Choose six lands they control, kill everything else. Just straight up everything. All right, we lose all our power stones. I'm not going to play this Fable. This is only sorcery speed, right? Yeah, okay. Nothing crazy. All right. Well, we're going to sacrifice one of these power stones. We did it. Yes. Yes. Oh, that is good stuff. Well, you going to blow up the world. Now or never, or next turn, but now or never, they have 10 cards left, so that strategy might be sound. That might be a sound strategy. Presumably they have one more, uh, they have one more Urza. Presumably. Uh, I think I want them to do it. Like, I think I'm just going to make them do it. Not going to play another land out, though. Yeah, I'm going to hit him with that EOT, EOT uh, Power Stone. Yep. Okay. Okay. Okay, chooses six lands they control. Destroy all other permanents. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh... No, I can still make... I can I can still... Alright, they're going to seven cards. Make a power stone. I'll just do it now. If 
The Mistress Foundry is kind of getting them, though. All right. All right. I mean, I'm sure that they have Urza. Okay. What do we got for this? Four. Stern Lesson. Fading Hope. They're running out of time. Impressed with this red-green mill deck. Okay, Stern Lesson. That's two cards. More power. Oh my god, can we mill can we mill them out? <laughs> oh, we hit nothing. It doesn't matter though. They have one card left in their deck. Now what happens? Do we get them? Do we run them out of cards? Okay. Sure. I mean I don't know what I don't know what Urza can do. It doesn't say anything about not losing the game. Just draw. Okay. Now what? What is your plan, opponent? You're running out of time. Yes! <laughs> oh, God. That is... All right. Are they on an aggro deck? I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep this. I'm crazy. What's the worst that could happen? The worst that could happen is they are on aggro deck and we don't draw a land and we, and we die with three Brotherhood's End in our hand. That's, that's the worst that could happen. Okay. Immediately... Immediately did not happen. Okay, just a little jund action. Best part of the game is where I won. And sometimes it is. Man, that uh that voltage surge came in key. Killing that Urza. Okay. Black Lotus leaves are pretty sweet. I love this Chris Ron Black Lotus. Absolutely love it. Best best Black Lotus art. Not close. It is a common. Common from uh, Kamigawa. Quite good. Might just hit him with the old turn five skitter beam battalion. Three two twos. Uh sure. That's fine. Let's give this forced. Ah. 
I mean, we got four foundries in there, so. Even a Mutavolt that uh, takes costs two to activate is good. It's a very, very great art for Lanwar Wastes. Looks like that might be the Silex going off in the background. It's kind of sweet, if that's the case. Ooh. Looks like these are going to be good at some point in the game. Don't know exactly when that would be. It's not quite yet. Let's just make a uh, power stone. We love making power stones. All my homies love making power stones. This is basically to insulate us from Titania, which they clearly have. There's a little fun guy in his graveyard. How fun this little guy is. He's so fun guy. We're in seven. Okay. Be a shame if you made a tree folk and then got sneak attacked with the little skitter beam. That's the beam noise. You weren't sure. Okie dokie. Okay. Oh, we can't do this also. That's unfortunate. All right, well. We'll go ahead and get Ren. Yeah, kill the real one. Yeah, kill that too. This is like the best uh, festering goblin ever. Well, that's bad news. But we are going to kill it. So there is that. It says Planeswalkers, right? Yeah, okay. Whatever you block... Alright. Two Rens down. Uh, let's just go look, let's go look for a card, I think. We'll play two mana. Yeah, we'll get, um... We'll get the Arbalist. Hmm. Our opponent has shown us a lot of cards in their graveyard that presumably would be good here, but um, 
We have not seen them in real time. So, I don't know. I don't know what gives. And they're getting a Ren back, which is bad news. Got our little buddy here. I think we're going to take our little buddy out. And then we'll make another Power Stone. Uh, it is time to draw one of our big our big drops. Another Skitter Beam Battalion. All right. Looks like we're gonna be double Brotherhood's ending on our turn. It's fine. I got nothing. I'm just making a Power Stone. No trample, huh? Okay. Let's make a red. Make another red. Uh, let's deal three damage. No! That is not what I wanted. Doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. Having one mana left open is... Whatever. Don't save this Titania. Don't do it! Don't you do it! Okay. That's fine. I still gotta contend with this this thing. Which is a problem. Pretty pretty big problem actually. I fought down two of these. Don't know if I can do it a third time. Just passing by, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hydrate. I will. This one's for you. Now, that was a good card. This was a good card I just drew. Would have liked to have drawn it last turn. That would have been much cooler, but... Okay, so we can get back the Skitter Beam on our turn. We can get back the Arbalist. Uh, we don't... We Titania would not be very good. Fauna Shaman would be interesting because we do have access to green. Which, uh, we're just going to get back our our big biggin. Okay. We found a Blast Zone and a Perennial Behemoth. This blast zone's on its way up to nine. Tear Sunder. Boo. Boo that man. Okay. Uh, you can play a land. Did they already play a land? They played this other blast zone. All right, well, take two, I guess. I really like to draw Mistress Foundry. That would be really good. Nope. No such no such thing. No such luck. Okay. I'm not going to play that. 
Fable. I don't think I'm going to play this Mountain Out. I think I'm just going to hold on to it. And I think we're going to discard both of these. On our turn. Okay. Nice. This can't block, but it's still very good. Didn't hit a land. So, theoretically, we should be able to take out Ren and Seven for the third time. Theoretically. Why don't you show us three cards in hand? Uh, we should get a redraw, which is going to be helpful. All right. And now they're going to get back... Are they getting back another Ren? Oh, God, that would be really good. I got back Titania. Okay. All right, so... We're not going to get rid of this this Brotherhood's End. We're going to attack here. They're going to block. And then we'll finish it off. Oh, nice. We'll pitch both of these mountains. That's probably easier, right? Go ahead and make this. And deal four to this. We'll sacrifice a power stone. All right. We will kill Rin, make a treasure. Now we're going to play another Fable. But I can't do anything, they just have priority because they have this blast zone up. Oh, wow. Uh, wait. One, two... Oh, I do have four. I was like, I only have three? No, I have Mistress Foundry. I forgot. I forgot about the Foundry. Okay. These are good at attacking. They're not good at blocking. Okay, put in a charge counter to take out the reflection of Kiki Jiki next turn. This cannot block. So we should be able to put some put some hurting on. They did not return this other one because they tapped their other two black. And by tapped I mean auto tapper probably got them. If I had to guess. It generally does. All right, we're going to bend both of these. The Brotherhood End could be good, but I think we're the beat down now, so we're going to get rid of this. See if we can find... Oh, here we go. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Uh, yeah, let's just do this thing. No. No prototype. We're just paying. We're paying full amounts here, homie. We're going for the headshot. 
They could tear asunder it and not die. But that's about it. All right. Version 2 of this deck uh, seems to be a little bit better than version 1. No soldiers, though, so we'll see. Anti-soldier tribal? All right. Power me up, Soul Ring. There we go. What are you? Ah, oh, you're dead. I don't know what you're doing, but... I'm gonna kill you. Little wormy. Look how adorable he is. We're gonna kill him too. I gain a life and then get a plus one plus one counter. Yeah, gotta kill them because they get out of range. Can't have them be getting out of range. Oh god. We're gonna make a 6-6? Six, six? Totally are. Oh, it's an 8-8? Eight, eight? What? Was it normally a... F For each green, green. Oh, three? Holy crap. That's not very good, is it? Jesus. Uh, okay. Gotta get my head back head back on. Um Spider they just look like a bunch of blockers to me. Carn it is. Alright. I had a braid. I had a braid. We just need to... Uh, Flip this Kiki Jiki and then like make a bunch of blockers. They actually make these Thran spiders as blockers. Okay. I mean, that's still fine. Karn's gonna go down, which is gonna buoy our life total a little bit. Hey. Hey, we drew our one of, um,. I you. I like that. That was quite convenient. Oh, yeah? Fine, I got a little something for you, too, homie. Clay Champion, yeah, well... Soft clay. You can get a land, I'll get a clue. Everybody wins ish. Alright, sure. Oh god, I can kill I can just ping you right off. Ping. Yeah, make some power stones. Go ahead. Alright. No cards in hand, but we do have the spider. A 
Well, we got a lot of hits. We got a lot of hits in our deck. Six mana? That's terrifying. Better than eight, I assume. Oh, yeah. So 11 11. All right. Back to blocking duty. Oh, yes. So good. So good. So, so good. Uh, let's go ahead and crack one of these. See if we can draw a land. Probably crack both. We did. Okay. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can activate this next turn, and then this turn we can we can Thran Spider. So we will um, we'll just pass. Man, if they play another creature, that's gonna be so sick. Just one more though. Just one more creature. Oh yeah, they have this. They have the pilot. Put two counters on target creature you control. Okay. The, this pilot is actually going to ruin our plans. Okay, I think we're going to double block there. And then take six. And then we can kill these three. We do have to figure out a way to deal with the clay champion, but... God, almost can kill them. Almost can just straight up kill them. Uh, no, thank you. Alright, so this has unearth. Yep. Could put counters on itself, I guess. Nope. Okay. Yeah, we'll we'll block here. Okay. Activate portal. Uh, we can gain some life with this. I actually think we're gonna do that. It's just going to be a blocker, so this is going to gain us three life. Give me that life. Now we can take a hit. We're going to hit them. Ooh, Wandering Emperor. Okay. Exile, sure. We're not out of the woods. This is going to have first strike. Oh, it doesn't have first strike. Okay. Will they remember this has death touch? They do. They do remember. They do indeed remember it has death touch. Okay. Oh, yeah. Give me them little teething wormlets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Mm, nope. All right, here we come. Yep, take seven. 
Oh man. This is a good this is a good win. This is this is a really good win. Oh, that is a that is a very satisfying win. That is a very, very satisfying win. All right. So to recap, this is what the deck looked like at the end. It's just basically all four ofs. Uh, we didn't get to. We never really got to over the top, but the rest of the the rest of the stuff seemed to actually like it worked pretty well. Hall Hall of Tagson, pretty solid. We made a lot of uh, made a lot of little power stones with that. The cards that I'm most skeptical of, unfortunately, is over the top itself and Karn. But everything else, like the Voltage Surge with making so many Power Stones, Fable the Mirror Breaker, like, obviously this card's insane. Brotherhood's End, that was obviously a very good add. Uh, this card's pretty great. Uh, worth splashing green for. Thran Spider. Karn. Uh, suspect. But, you know, that little worm guy... This, uh, where is he? Th this could actually be good. This could actually be good in this deck. Because it's something cheap. It can actually get out of range of Brotherhood Brotherhood's End. And it, I don't know. It gains, it, it actually gained us a lot of life. Like it, we were at 19 when that last game ended. Like maybe... Maybe you don't actually go over the top. Maybe it's just a bunch of power stones and some huge payoffs. Who knows? Either way, this is what the deck looked like. So this is the final deck list we played. And honestly, I'm pretty happy with how it ended up. It's very heavy on the huge drops, but it gets there pretty quick with a lot of interaction along the way. Let me know in the comments how you'd change the deck and what other cards you're excited to ramp into with power stones or how you'd use power stones in a different way. Make sure to like and subscribe as usual and check out the rest of the channel for all of the decks I played during the Brothers War Early Access event. Thank you all for watching and we'll catch you next time.